Hey guys, so this is an Ecotech Marine battery backup, and uh, somehow they are getting away with charging over 160 bucks for one of these. Uh, and in another video, I'll show you how to make a battery backup that works exactly the same, uh, but can last at least four times as long uh, for the same price. So really, all this is is an 18 amp, uh, 12 volt sealed battery in a metal case. And see, there it is. It's not, it's not anything complicated. Uh, and these deep cycle batteries are supposed to be replaced every three to five years. And I actually find that usually they need to be replaced on the short end of that every approximately three years. Um, just because that's how long I've seen them last. Um, so this really should be a serviceable item. Um, but for some reason, they've riveted the darn thing shut. And I think I know why, but we won't go into that. To service this, all you need is a replacement battery. So here I've got a 12 volt, 18 amp battery. They're around 30 bucks online. And uh, some 632 by 38 stainless steel machine screws. So now let's rewind in time and pop this case open. It's getting this thing open that is the real pain in the ass. Uh, you need a drill and a lot of patience uh, to do this because this metal is incredibly soft. Uh, it does have a nice paint job over top of it, so I guess uh, whatever. Um, but you need to drill out the rivets. And I have one left to go. Uh, there's eight of these things on here. So grab your drill and I will show you how it is done, if I can find a drill bit. There we go. Take a drill, put it in the head of the rivet, and drill out the head. in the right drill bit size. Uh, so it's starting to break free. Uh, it's spinning. So you take your pliers and you can just rip the rest of that rivet right out of there. And ah, we're free and in. All right, so now we just need to take the battery out of the case uh, there's two screws, hold, bolts holding this on. All right, so we'll set our old battery aside, and you can either core this or recycle it, but you do need to get uh, rid of it in a responsible way because it has lead in it. All right, so this battery looks exactly the same, um, so it should slide into place exactly the same. I bought an expert power. Uh, it was established in my birthday. <laughs> or the year I was born, rather. We'll slide that in and replace the bolts. Alright, so now that we have our battery wired in and make sure these are really secure, uh, it's time to put back on the case. Just replace those two pieces of styrofoam. Put the case back on. 
and take your machine screws and screw them into the holes uh, where the rivets were. Alright, so do that eight more times and you've serviced your Vortec battery backup. And you should be good for at least another three years. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you have any DIY projects you'd like to see me tackle, uh, put them in the comments down below.